Hi, this is Craig, and welcome back to Cruising Off Duty. You know we're at the Annapolis Sailboat Show filming catamarans, walking through them, giving you our impressions, giving a final review at the very end. And I'm gonna flash a bunch of boats on the screen right now. These are all the boats we've already covered. If you haven't seen these episodes and you're interested in any of these, go back and check out one of two playlists. The one from just this year is called the Annapolis Sailboat Show 2018. And then there's one called Comparing Catamarans, which is incorporating all the reviews from last year and this year. There is merit to going back and watching last year's episodes because there were some boats that were there last year that weren't here this year and there's some boats that were here both years but the model they brought last year was way more impressive than the model this year so definitely go back and check those out in this episode we're going to cover a trimaran for the very first time this is going to be the neil 51 foot now we had viewers of ours write in asking if we were going to cover the neil because i guess there's a lot of interest in it we've never really considered a trimaran only because each individual hull is a little bit narrower but the upside of a trimaran is because you have three hulls to disperse the weight you don't go as deep in the water so you get more performance and because there's three hulls that main salon is absolutely huge so you're getting performance and interior comfort maybe we are going to be one over let's see so we're getting on the Neil 51 trimaran, which we've never been on before. It's got three points of access, three sugar scoops. Let's ramp up to the side here. It's a lot of handhelds. It's awesome. Pretty wide, I had to duck a little bit. The hatches are some of the nicest I've seen, actually. They're flush and very modern. There's nothing whatsoever to sit on at the bow. Trampoline is finely woven rope. There's not really an option to sit forward. But the uh, rigging and anchor is very accessible. Mm. All the way around. The windows are big and bright. Mm. There's a nice access to an upper deck seating area. Just an excellent use of uh, of the upper deck. And there's a. Uh, Mattress lie about sun tanning beds up here. Winches rigging that way. Get into the cockpit right now. The helm. Ooh. Going to the back deck. It's very lovely. There's a bar area with little fridges and a sink garbage, it's everything you need here in one little spot. There's no access to the helm from in here. So here's a cute little outdoor kitchen. It has a sink and a fridge and an ice maker and a lounge. The seating area is also very nice and it completely opens to the interior via sliding doors. The table doubles in size, so it would be quite a large dining area and like joins with this other interior table. The interior seating area is just as ample as the exterior one. And um, there's some beautiful cabinetry. They got glass doors on their cabinets up here. An excellent location for a television. The nav station is very luxurious too. It's got a gorgeous chair to spin around on, lots of desk area. The windows are huge and unobstructed. Complete 360 degree. Okay. Peek. Peeky, peeky. Ah, more shirt area. Check out the rest of the kitchen. I've got my garbage hidey hole. One big sink. Sorry. Peaky, peaky. One very large sink, which, you know, I think would be better off divided into two, you know, a little longer. But otherwise, nice. Four burner stove, oven, even a, a dishwasher. It's quite a modern boat. 
Over here, the more fridges. Fridges. Lots of countertop for coffee. I'm going to peek down this. What's that? Oh, it's a booze hole. The windows are extremely ample and very completely unobstructed. It's very different from a cat, but I, I do like it. It's gorgeous. The mast. So this appears to be the master cabin on the main deck next to the large interior seating area. It's very big, huge open window, full size square accessible mattress. Well, as it's <clears throat> the head with the master cabin has got a good sized separate shower. Me. A nice vessel sink. I, I love how bright it is up here. Love this. So I'm now going down into the starboard cabin. It has an enclosure. This will slide over if I want to completely shut myself off. The stairs are a good size. So this is another master cabin, it seems. The vessel sink and vanity are out here. And a uh, little water closet slash shower here. So it's not a separate shower. The upstairs is the master um, toilet. It's still a good amount of space. And then the cabin. I just want to note the extreme, extremely narrow walk through with this bulkhead here. Um, and also up here, Craig said he bumped his head coming down. It's pretty low clearance. This is an issue here, this sharp edge <laughs> that should put on. It's very narrow, so even I have to keep my arms right against myself, so I can't gain any weight to live on this. But it's still nice, I mean, the bed is huge, it's got a huge window. Lots of closet, cupboard, lots of storage in here. An escape hatch there. Some more oh, ample storage. Yeah, I could put a kid back here. Small one. I'm going down the center hall. It's kind of a spiral staircase. There's a handrail on this one, but not on the other one. It goes all the way down the berth it's to the right, but it's a good size. It's a good size. It's got room here and storage underneath. A good amount of cabinetry here, and it's pretty bright. It's got a port light above and a smaller circular one on the side. The locker that goes here is huge. Wow. Super ample locker there. And then they had to go with this hall down a couple more steps. It's a very interesting layout. It's very unique. The only thing that would make it kind of not livable for us is the narrowness because we aren't itty bitty. The, the shower is large with lots of elbow room. And the electric toilet. So I'm now going into the port hall. It is a, a kind of a small opening and there's this some um, the track here, I stepped on it. Kind of hard not to either step on it or step your toe on it. It's super, super small. And it's similar to the other side with the large locker and bed. The bed has storage there. It's bright with a big window and uh, could put a kid's bunk here. You know. Small opening again, so same as the other side. The layout here. Private Water wings, closet you know. here. Good storage here. Narrow opening here. That's about it. A wall of cabinetry here. That's so very open in this main salon. 
feels large. Okay, so we just got off the Neil 51 foot trimaran. So yeah. it's the first trimaran on we've, we've reviewed. What do you think? I actually liked it a lot, a lot about it anyways. The layout is very interesting, very unique, and the uh, salon area is huge, and the whole partition between the exterior dining area and the salon open up, and the two tables can get almost close together, you can have a very large group of people back there. The TV mount is awesome. The layout of the nav station is huge. A huge desk area that you can make an, into an, a complete office. The kitchen galley area is also huge. All the windows are big and unobstructed. You can see all the way around. Mm -hmm. And there's a large cabin, which, you know, the master cabin is up on the main deck as well. And it has a fully appointed um, head attached and full surround. Like it's like a bedroom. It's like a real house bedroom in there. Uh, so upper deck is all amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, the halls down below, very narrow, small entryways. The stairways are very, yeah. there's hardly any, you have to crouch to get down there and he bumped his head. And the, Going down the, stairs. the, the yeah. space, the bulkhead passage is literally this. Thing. Yeah, that's it's part of being a trimaran. I had to squish my shoulders through it. Mm -hmm. So if you... That's the thing, you get three are, halls. But they're narrow. Yeah, halls. very yeah. narrow. The openings are very. The middle hall was actually yeah. a big stairway, a big star a spiral stairway. And it was interesting. It was a very interesting layout. I can certainly see why someone would like this boat and want this boat. For sure. Um, it's performance. Yeah, performance as well. It's performance. So this boat is somebody who wants to go fast. Yeah. Um, that's great. That's great. And you like the uh, layout, so it's and the it's, upper deck. Layout. Yeah. The hall, the two hall side halls. Yeah. Were awkward. And very narrow. But yeah. Yeah, the middle one's ample, but the side ones are kind of narrow. But yeah, it's definitely, I, some people wrote in asking if we'd cover this one, yeah. even though it's a trimaran, so we said we would, and it's actually quite nice. And this is the 51, the 47's brand new, will be here at the Annapolis show next year, they said. This 51, fully, supposedly, supposedly fully loaded, they said, is just under a million. So the 47 will be a little smaller and probably a little cheaper. So we'll definitely check that out next, next year. year, because that might be more our speed, 47 foot trimaran. 51 was, in my mind, it felt a little bit big. But upper deck. Yeah. All right. There you go. Stay tuned for the next episode. Bye. Bye. So there you go. There's our walkthrough and our thoughts on the Neil 51 foot trimaran. We actually really, really liked it. So I'm really curious to see what the 47's like next year. Probably more our speed, a little bit more our size. We shall see. This is almost the end of the Annapolis sailboat show. We only have a few things left. The last builder we haven't touched on yet is the leopards. Now I know a lot of people love those leopards. We caught them at the tail end of the show because they're in a totally different area because Moorings and Sunsail, the two biggest charter companies, use them as their demo boats. So Leopard only has that area. So it's kind of away from the rest of the boats. So we did that last. And then we do a test sail of the Exquisite X5. So look forward to that. Hopefully you want to not miss those episodes. So subscribe, hit that little bell notification button so you're notified when the next episode is up. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And thanks to the patrons that help support the channel. Without them, this probably wouldn't be possible. So that's it. Until next time, this is Craig signing off, wishing you safe cruising.